Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Encina. Today I'm presenting the second video in our three-part series of Jumpstart 2015. This is all about getting that momentum and traction that you're looking for in 2015 and giving you a couple of ideas and strategies that can really catapult your business to a complete new level for this year. So, in the first video we talked about reflecting. So I hope you went away and reflected and looked at all the opportunities that you have available for this year that you can change and turn around. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the 3R principle and number two is recharge. You see, real estate is hard work. It takes a lot of tenacity, a lot of focus, and sometimes real estate feels like it just takes and takes and takes from you. And if you're not having enough mini breaks through the year, guess what? You will feel like your battery level goes down to that level. You want to be running at a high level and high energy because real estate is really about a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm that you've got to bring to the table every day. And if you're not taking those mini breaks throughout the year, guess what you're gonna find? You will burn out very, very quickly in this industry. I've actually seen agents walk away from the industry who could have actually been so, so successful. So sometimes you need to plan this this year. So what I would say to you is, put in your diary three breaks per year. If I look at it this way, the three breaks that I used to look at per year was, one used to be in Easter. Now we normally got Good Friday and Easter Monday, but this is a perfect time to start the year off to have your first holiday break in 2015. Because you think about it, February, March, you're gonna be working with that focus and intensity that you required to make it a complete success for you. So what you really need is to have that break to recharge those batteries. So when you put down a goal and a holiday, for example, to charge those batteries, think about something that's gonna be emotionally attached to you. So I don't know, if it's something that's with the children and your family, because that's what you do a lot of these times, but if you don't have a partner or you don't have children, think about somewhere where you can go away and just chill out and just switch off from the tech world, meaning emails, phone calls, all that busy stuff, SMSs that just sort of sometimes wears you down. So think about the emotional holiday that you want to take. The second break that I would look is around maybe July or maybe June, around that middle time of the year. It's the halfway mark. And generally, traditionally we know, winter is a quiet time for a lot of real estate properties coming onto the market. So this gives you the opportunity to get out there and have a holiday over that June, July period. I would recommend somewhere between two to three weeks is probably a good enough time to have that break. Anything more can be a little bit too long, unless you're, you know, I'll give you the exception, if you're going for a wedding and you're gonna make a holiday out of it, and a honeymoon, you're going for four weeks, go for it. But I would just generally rule of thumb would be is take two to three weeks in that winter period where it's really quite down. Again, emotionally attached. I love sun and surf. Great place to go would probably be Hawaii. So you know what, if that's your thing, go for it. The other thing I would probably say is work towards the end of the year to have your big final holiday. And that's what I'm talking about is, guess what, around Christmas time, New Year's, and the early part of January. You know and I know, it's always quite around that time. We don't get that many emails, we don't really get that many phone calls. Hopefully you would have listed two or three properties to hit the ground running for the following year, but go away and have a really good break in that time frame. And again, have it emotionally attached to where you wanna to go to. For some of my clients, I've seen them go skiing over to the Northern Hemisphere, you know, the US, Canada, Europe, that type of thing. And I've got some of the people just here going down the South Coast and just hitting around the beaches in their local areas. But whatever it is, it's time to switch off. You remember, if you want to come back and have every time you go away and hit the ground running, make sure that you have three breaks. Put it in your diary right now. Go away. Think about when you're going to take off, what time, the time frames, and where you want to go to. If you've got a vision board like I do, put it up there where you want to head to. Have pictures of your family or friends or your partner or your loved ones who you want to hang out with because when it's emotionally attached, it guess what? It draws you there feeling like you're gonna be pushing it there. And you get excited when you've written down and you know, you know that you're going on holidays. I hope this little tip's giving you some idea to help you recharge for 2015. Look out for my next video coming out next week for part three in our 3R principle. Remember, stay focused, stay in action, and always stay in control.